now we are going to understand the external to hardware level triggered interrupts of 8051 microcontroller where external interrupt 0 is connected to P3.2 and external interrupt 1 is connected to P3.3 as we see here. So one end of the wire is connected to 3.2 which is INT0 bar, another end is connected to P3.3 which is INT1 bar. So the other end of these uh, interrupt are connected to the two switches. So where if you see uh, this first switch is external interrupt 0 and this is external interrupt 1. So that means when we press the switch, external interrupt 0 is low active. So external interrupt 0 ISR will run. When I press this switch, external interrupt 1 ISR will run. So now the main program is running with a constant delay. So the program is written in such a way that when external interrupt 1 comes, it executes with some high frequency. When external interrupt 0 comes, it executes with much more frequency. So now this is main routine which is running with some frequency. When external interrupt 1 comes, this blinking of an LED justifies the program execution is in interrupt service routine of external interrupt 1. Now we are giving external interrupt 0. So the faster blinking of LED which justifies now external interrupt 0 is executing. So main routine external interrupt 1 and external interrupt 0. So all the three interrupts are running. So here we have to understand very interesting thing. We know very well external interrupt 0 is having highest priority when compared to external interrupt 1. So we will see the hierarchy. So until any of the interrupt comes, main routine is keep on getting executed. So it is blinking with some frequency. All, all, we all of us know interrupt is having highest priority when compared to the main routine. So when any external interrupt 1 comes, program execution immediately jumps to the external interrupt 1 ISR and makes the LED to blink little bit faster as you see here. So this little bit faster blinking rate of an LED justifies program execution is in external interrupt 1. But when you compare with external interrupt 1, external interrupt 0 is having highest priority. So by the time when external interrupt 1 is there, when external interrupt 0 comes, by that means I am pressing in the external interrupt 0 switch. Now external interrupt 0, interrupt service routine is getting executed which is something like faster rate. Even though external interrupt 1 is there, when external interrupt 0 comes, the LED is blinking with higher rate. This is just because external interrupt 0 is having highest priority when compared to external interrupt 1. But when I release this external interrupt 0 switch, now external interrupt 1 uh, is active. So external interrupt 1 ISR is getting executed. When I release this switch, now the main routine is getting executed. If you put it in other way, now external interrupt 0 among the highest priority interrupt is executing. By the time if external interrupt 1 comes, there is no impact of external interrupt 1. Why? Because external interrupt 1 is having lowest priority. So it cannot overwrite the external interrupt 0 highest priority. But external interrupt 1 is there means immediately when external interrupt 0 comes, external interrupt 0 is getting executed. So this is something like preemptive. Okay. External interrupt 0 preempts external interrupt 1. That is very interesting. This justifies the priority in external interrupts that two in level triggered interrupts. So let us see the code, how it works. If you look at the screen, very important thing is the IE, the interrupt enable register is configured with 0x85 which justifies both the external interrupt 0 and external interrupt 1 is enabled. And this is the main routine which blinks with the delay of 50,000. And this is external interrupt 0 service routine which blinks with the same LED with 4,000 delay. And external interrupt uh, 2, that is external interrupt 1 with a delay of 10,000. So these three tasks are there and out of which external interrupt 0 highest priority task runs with a very minimum delay, so high, high speed. The next lowest priority external interrupt 1 runs with some 10,000 delay, the main routine runs with 50,000 delay. So with this code, when it is getting downloaded, so now I am compiling and building and it is getting downloaded. And we are able to experiment the same. So through Prog ISP, it is getting downloaded. And once if it gets downloaded, we can experiment the same as we discussed right now. So now main routine is running. Main routine is running. So main, external interrupt 1, external interrupt 0. So the priority is also happening, which is being justified. So external hardware level triggered interrupts in 8051 microcontroller are experimented clearly in this discussion. Thank you.